All right, let's do a teardown today. Um, I have this old uh, thermal imaging camera, um, which was great when I first got it, but it's only 32 by 32 uh, thermal pixels, so it's, it's actually quite limited, and I have better cameras now. So I thought, uh, for the sake of the channel, and for my curiosity, <laughs> I'd like to open this thing up, and maybe we can get down to the actual uh, microbolometer sensor and take a look at that. But uh, let's uh, first open up the front here. This one has a has a battery in it. I can recycle the battery and use it on other projects. One of those, uh, one of these things, say 18, you know, the one 18, 650s. Okay, so save that. Um, now I need to figure out how to get inside. Let's see. Uh, screw. Uh, take that out. All right, I got a container here. Put things in. Oh, there we go. Uh, might have to take these labels off. I'm not sure. There's this rubber rubber thing around the top here. Maybe that can just come off somehow, some way. If I think hard about it, there we go. Maybe that just comes off. All right, let's see if we can. That off, all right. No more screws. Is it uh, spudging time? Hmm. I don't see any other easy or obvious ways to get this off. I think this thing might this thing might pop off. Let's see if we can. Split here, but there's a split in the front. That might come off. Yeah, that's that is opening. There we go. Whoa. Oh, there's our camera. Oh, there we go. There's all the goodness there. Let's take the take that off. So all of the uh, Camera stuff is here. Interesting. I believe this one has a I don't know what it has all in it. I think this is a regular camera, this is the IR camera, and this is a something or other. Maybe it's just a temperature sensor as well. Or a LED. Might just be an LED to illuminate things with. I think that's what that is. Okay, I can see inside. Now this inside is not going to be, I don't think, very interesting. It's going to be the uh, uh, display and the microcontroller and stuff, which I can kind of see in there. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can't get this off. There we go. Something, something moved. There we go. All right, battery connects here. And This is the I.O. board here. Just disconnect that one. And the battery connector. All right, so this is just the, uh, 
Well, I can save the uh, I can save the card out of it. Got a little SD card. Save that. And that's about it for this thing. It's just a, just a, a go-between board with connectors and stuff on it. It holds the uh, SD card. This thing just goes off to the battery, so we're done with that. We're really down to these two components here. So let's, uh, let's change the camera a bit so we can see those better. Okay, this is the display. Uh, it has a Windbond chip in it. Where's my magnifier here? Uh, Windbond W9825G6JH-6. Um, and I, there's another chip on the other side, so let's... Uh, Let's go take a look at that. I can get rid of this uh, cable here. talking to the display. So let's uh, see if I can't get that out of there. I'm not going to put this thing back together, so let me just yank on it. Ah. There we go. I'll just yank on it. I don't care. How does this thing work? There we go. All right, so this is the big chip. It's an ARM. It's a STM32 F429 IGT6. So very nice chip there, nice big one. Wow, real big one. Oh, nice switches. I like these switches. All right, and probably I squared C, maybe? Uh, a little, uh, yeah, it's a 24LC64, so 64-bit uh, E-squared prom to remember things. Uh, so this might just be an LCD driver, and this is the big chip, if I had to guess. But then I don't know for sure. No, most of the LCD lines are going into the big chip here, so I'm not sure what that chip is. I'm sure you guys know, but I do not. I'm not familiar with this stuff. Here's a programming thing. Uh, let's see, where's my magnifier? I'll put these under my microscope, give you a good view of them. Yeah, clock and data. It's a JTM, JT, uh, uh, JTAG uh, interface for the thing. Okay, well, this is really what I want. This is really what I want to get to. All right, let's take out some screws on him. All right. Looks like there's a little clock chip up there. 24 megahertz. A little DC to DC converter there. All right, let's see if this thing, yeah, there we go. Perfect. So this is just the cover. So here's everything. Yeah, this is a big LED, big white LED. This is a little uh, um, visible camera out of a cell phone. Uh, I don't 
see any markings on it. Uh, see. Yeah, not sure who made that one. But they are dime a dozen out of cell phones. So this is the guy that I'm interested in right there. Uh, looks like he's in a, like a, almost like a T05 can with a, with some type of, I uh, just snap the, snap the leads off of it. See that? There's only, maybe, there we go. There's only four, uh. Four connections on this little TO5 can. That is super bizarre. Oh dear, 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 dear. Probably should be smart about this and check it in the lathe or something. This ain't going to be easy to open up. It does not want to come apart. Uh, I shall be back. All right. Well, I got down to this far. I don't know if I can remove, remove it from here without destroying it. The lens is still intact. So, yeah, this is just a little module here. So let me... Uh, let me uh, do some more destruction, see if I can't get this open. All right, let me show you some boards here. Uh, this is the board that had the uh, IR sensor that used to be here. I was incorrect. I, uh, I will show you these a little bit later, but I was incorrect. This actually is a pixelated device. It's I squared C output, so it's just power ground and I squared C, and that's all there is for pins. So I was kind of shocked about that. I know probably everybody else has seen it, I'm just behind the times. There's a white LED right here. You can see the bond wires on it actually here. And then our little camera here. Uh, this is a uh, HDF 3M811. You can find data sheets on that. It's a two megapixel sensor. Um, super cheap. I find those all over the place. Uh, on the back, just a few components. Little. Uh, like there's a little DC to DC converter there. There's a little 24, 24 megahertz uh, crystal over there. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Take a look at the other board. Here is the arm. Very nice. 25 megahertz on that one. Interesting. Okay. And there's that little I squared C uh, down over there. I squared C uh, EE prom. Not much else on this board. Another DC to DC converter, I guess, here. Some uh, keys. Here's the, uh, here's the wind bond chip. There you go. And the JTAG uh, connector. And then what is that little guy there? A1QCXA. Don't know what that is. All right, and that's just the DC to DC thing there. All right, is there a JTAG on that? And just on those, uh, just on this one side here. Okay. Okay, so um, I wanted <laughs> to show you the insides of this thing, um, and I think I still have it somewhere. It flew across the room. <laughs> And the process of opening it, it flew across the room. So I'm just going to have to show you some data sheets here. Um, so this isn't the exact chip, but I think it's very, very familiar, uh, similar. An MX, MLX90640, 32 by 24. I think what I, the camera, I think was said to have been 32 by 32. So... There must be a different version of this, but you can see it's a very simple part. It has I squared C interface, so wow. Uh, yeah, 
uh, I guess I need to find some of these. I think they're about $20, $30. I think about $30 to get one of these. So I don't know if I want to buy one just to rip it apart again. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, maybe I should play with it. I haven't seen really any good examples of it. It's kind of a slow part. and I don't know. Maybe I want to play with it. Maybe I don't. But uh, it is a cute part. Anyway, that was sort of a letdown. I really wanted to put the uh, IC under the microscope and take a look at that uh, IR sensor, but it flew across the room, never to be found again. Maybe someday I'll find it. Maybe, maybe in the future there'll be another video if I ever see that thing. All right. Thanks a lot.